In today's video, I want to show you guys on how you can make a professional looking title slide using something called image masks. And this is a really cool technique that you can do in Google Slides. And it's relatively easy to do. So without further ado, let's just jump right in. Okay, so here I am on a new Google Slides document. Now, as you can see here, this is a completely blank slide. I kind of just, you know, selected everything and removed it. Now, what I want to do here is, first of all, to make a really nice title slide, I want to look for a high quality image. And there is no other place that I look for it except for Pexels com not sponsored okay this is all free stock photos or royalty free photos um and let's just say we're you know writing or we're creating a presentation about a forest okay so here it is so as you can see here there's a lot of pictures of forests but for example we're gonna use uh you know let's just use this one you know why not so we have a nice image here of a forest you can see it's very very high quality now what i can do is i'm just gonna hit right click and hit copy image I'm gonna go back to my presentation here. I'm just gonna go ahead and paste that image that I've just copied. Uh, and here it is, boom, perfect. It's right in the middle of my slide. Very, very high quality image, right? So now what I can do is um, I'm gonna start creating the image mask. The, my, my way of usually doing this is just by putting shapes above the image first, and then we're gonna crop the image to that shape, okay? So that way you could kind of lay out where you want the shapes to be. Um, so you could just go ahead and click this button up here, go to shapes and you can feel free to pick whatever shape you want. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead and pick the rounded rectangle shape and I'm just gonna go ahead and drag a rounded rectangle kind of like this. Now you can see that this rounded rectangle, it actually kind of uh, goes over the image, okay? You wanna make sure that you're not going over the image or else there's gonna be blank spaces later when you crop it. But I'm gonna go ahead and do this. Maybe you could, you know, play around with the shape a little bit, um, and you could copy and paste, uh, or you know, do however many images you want. So I'm gonna do uh, just four of these. I'm gonna try to distance it equally. And uh, one way that you can distance things equally, for example, is let's just say I'm gonna make this a little bit far off. You can select all of them here. I'm gonna shift click all the shapes that I've made. If you hit right click and you hit distribute and you hit horizontally it'll just kind of, you know, evenly space it out, okay? So you can do that. I'm gonna go ahead and kind of just, you know, squish it a little bit more because um, I want it to be, I want more space for the text later. So we're gonna go distribute uh, horizontally and bam, there you go. You can see these have been distributed, okay? Now, one thing that I can do uh, as well is that now we wanna crop these images to the shapes, okay? Or this image to the shapes. So what I can do is I can go ahead and click the image and when I have the image selected, I can go over here to this drop down right next to the crop button. We don't want to hit crop image. We want to click on the arrow next to it. Go to shapes and click rounded rectangle. Okay. So once you've done that, you can see that the image conforms to a rounded rectangle now. Uh, but it doesn't conform to our rectangles that we've defined here. So very, very easy. I'm just going to double click this image. I'm going to grab the black edges here and just kind of like morph it to the rounded rectangles that we already have here and then once you hit enter you can no longer see the image but that's because it's right behind the shape and once we delete it you can see here that it actually uh, shows up okay now how do I do it to these other uh, rectangles right because the image is only this one image well very very easy you can just copy it and paste it and when you paste it you want to move the image exactly where the other one is. So put it on top of each other. But now you want to right click or double click it again and move this uh, black edge to the other ones, the other shapes that you've created. OK, and once you've aligned it, hit enter and bam, there you go. There you guys can see the image is kind of expanding now. But what you want to do is there's a you know, there's a rectangle behind it, right? So if you just right click and send this to back, so right click, order and hit send to back. You can see that now the other rectangle is above it and you can just easily delete it, um, just leaving the image left here, okay? So I'm gonna be doing the exact same thing, copy paste, uh, put it on top of each other and then double clicking it, expanding it. Again, you can do, repeat the same process with whatever shapes you have. So you have this nice image of a forest here masked by these rectangles. Now what you can do as well is now you can start adding effects to these rectangles. So when you select all of them like this and go to format options, you can start adding effects like for example, a drop shadow where it adds a very, very subtle shadow behind it. Okay. But again, it makes it look really, really nice and professional. Uh, especially with these shadows, you can go ahead and change the blur radius. So it kind of like, 
the shadow is, is there and it, it's a little bit more pronounced. Okay. One thing you can do as well is you can add a reflection. So, you know, turning on the reflection here, you can see that it reflects on the, on the, on the bottom here. So again, I'm just resizing it, kind of playing around with it. Uh, you could change the opacity. So the opacity could be like maybe 40 or 30 or yeah, maybe 40 is perfect. So you can see here that you have this, um, this nice image and a reflection underneath it. And then now you can start writing down, um, you know, your title slide, your, for example, you want to, you know, add a text box here and title it, uh, you know, all about forests, for example, right? And then you can go ahead and change the font. I like using Montserrat. Um, it's just one of my go-to fonts and I could enlarge this. So I could have this all about forest here, for example, and you can see how it looks very, very clean. Uh, I'm just going to go ahead and select it and use a dark green color here for this all about forests. Okay. Or maybe even a darker green, um, all about forest. And then I'm going to go ahead and copy paste this as well and change this to um, a, you know, thoughtful presentation uh, about forest and nature. Okay. I don't know what this uh, presentation is going to be about because I'm just designing this title slide, but you can see here that when I create this, it's starting to come along together and I'm going to go ahead and change the color of this to a bit of a lighter green, maybe like a dark green too. And then, yeah, you can see here that it's coming together and I will just now write by me. So by, and then put your name down here. You could change it to maybe about semi bold. You don't need to bold this, right? This is just your name. Um, and again, I want to change it to a line, another lighter green. <laughs> so that way we have all, all shades of green here. Um, and again, you could, you know, position this however you'd like. And last but not least, I like to actually add a line. So I'm, I'm going to just add a simple line here going diagonal. If you hold shift on your keyboard, you're, you'll be creating very straight lines. So you can see how this is like a free roam line. But if you hold shift, you can see that it now starts snapping to, you know, angles, maybe like 15 degrees, 30 degrees. Um, but yeah, I have this horizontal line here and I'm just going to put it over here. And I'm going to go ahead and change the line color to the dark green and I'm going to go ahead and change the uh, weight, which is this right here, a line weight to maybe about four. Okay. So that way you have this nice presentation title slide all about forest. Now, again, you can apply the same concept to any shape you would like. So for example, you have this uh, forest image again and you want to make it into a hexagon. Same thing. Okay. So go to shapes. For example, I have a pentagon. If you have a pentagon here, I'm going to go ahead and hold shift. So it scales proportionally and then same thing with the image. Okay. You can go ahead and do the same thing. So hit mask image shapes and pick the exact same shape. So a pentagon. And then when you double click it, you can go ahead and put the pentagon exactly where you have your other one. So you can see the red lines here. It'll match this other pentagon and then you just match it and then boom and you delete this. And then look at that. You have a nice forest uh, looking uh, pentagon. OK, and then again, you can move the pentagon. You can move the image wherever you want it. But yeah, again, add the drop drop shadow and reflection and it looks really, really clean. So hopefully you guys learned how to make a clean, professional looking title slide. If you did, don't forget to hit the like and hit the subscribe button down below. And I'll see you guys all in the next video.